So we're at a house in Hamilton here and we're just going to show you exactly how dryer fires happen. So here we're on the outside, we're just uh, running the rods through. This dryer has been taking a long time, she uh, never knew who to call. And uh, you can just see that there's a lot of lint. This was a tricky one, that's why we're doing it on the outside. Big clump of lint, lint there. This was a 20, 22 foot run. Um, below there, you can see all the all the all the water there, the damp, the bricks all damaged from where the damp air was just kind of dribbling out and uh, has affected the the brickwork over the years. So this 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 took a lot of uh, of cleaning, and um, there you can see it all on the on the on the ground. We uh, we do clean it up afterwards, but this is just just unfortunate. But you can see there's a huge big pile of lint. Um, there's more of it and then you can see that was a third of a, a garbage bag that we, we pulled up so here we've just taken the lid off the dryer you can see there's lint all the, on the inside up top and um, you know, this is the back of the dryer the hose that connects it we've pulled that off and that's just full of lint the whole thing was just backed up all the way from the dryer through to the outside and this hose should be thin foil but this is this is foil and plastic if you look there this should not be used you can see the rust marks from it um, and here we go inside the dryer and you're gonna see just how much lint is inside this is this is where a fire would start inside a dryer see this is the heating element just pull some burnt lint out of there um, the element glows red that, that that's you know that's been burning and on the top of here you, you'll see um, just close up all burnt you know, that's that's where your fire starts. It's not electrical fires. The, the fire um, department in Ontario don't seem to want to educate people on dryer fires. This is what we're doing, we're trying to get the message out, which just doesn't seem to be um, resonating. So this is a 14-year-old house, never done clean the dryer vent. Um, this, this is a pretty bad one. There you go, you can see lint at the top of here, that's always an indicator. And uh, yeah, so we just, we're just going to clean all this up, inspect the rollers, any bearings that need lubricating, we'll do that. And uh, after we finish this whole dryer, well the dryer is going to dry a lot quicker and uh, the homeowner is going to feel a lot safer. So here, that's inside the heating element. You can see it's all burnt, and uh, you know that's below the lint trap. Just changing the lint trap every, uh, clearing the lint trap every time doesn't mean the dryer's clean. Here we have it. After we finish cleaning it all up, it looks like new. All the lint's been removed, and um, you know, the homeowner's pretty happy. And we're just going to reassemble it. So dryer fires do happen in Ontario, you just don't hear about them very often. www.dryeventcleaner.ca or call us on 905-966-0838. If you've got any problems with the dryer, if you just want peace of mind, we're here to help.